Hey guys, welcome to Baker Airsoft. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Hassan H9 and it is licensed by EMG and manufactured by AW slash WE. So let's take a look at the gun. Also on the box you get the registration menu and scan the QR code for for the info. And then you get a set for adding a thumb safety to the gun. So this is the H9 itself. Now I got the black version, they also have a tan cutter. But for me, like a like I, the H9 is a futuristic looking gun, so to me, like black is more suitable for tan. Um, it's more for like military style, so the black one makes it look like more more of a Batman gun. You know what I mean? So the H9 is the what the modern designer think of the 1911, as if the 1911 is to be reinvented today. So you can see some of the tray of the 1911, you know, the kind of the beaver grip, although they don't have the safety in here. And you, you get the panels and you get the trigger that is similar to the 1911 and that's pretty much it. And then for the futuristic part, you know, you get the, I believe it's polymer lower frame with the metal slide. So it's lighter than a conventional 1911. And it is made in Taiwan. So let's go over some of the features of the gun. Um, as mentioned, you can install the thumb safety in here. You know, the one they get for 1911, but I'm not going to do that. Because I always accidentally put on the safety when I'm drawing my pistol. And also, I may may not keep this gun yet, so I don't want to do too much to it. I'm just going to do a simple review of what I think of this gun first. So initial impression it's actually thinner than I thought and smaller than what I've seen from online in comparison I have the KSC G18 so you see it's thinner than the Glock and actually feels pretty nice in my hand and similar to the Glock they have a trigger safety but this trigger safety is a bit weird um, Pass down a certain point, then you won't be able to pull the trigger. I'm not sure how much it will affect you in in real life or in gaming scenario, but it is something that you have to be watch out for. And if you're clicking it fast, sometimes you get a point of instead hitting the safety also. So that's something that you have to be careful. For. And I think it might be better if they can invert the safety mechanism so instead of going it upward it will be pushing it downward as a natural trigger pulling action so that's what I thought on the trigger safety at the moment and the second thing is the sight although the front side is fiber optics but they block the they block the fiber optic in front so there's no light getting through in here and it's very dark and even though if you shine a light on it you won't be able to see the dot, so it's pretty hard to acquire the sight. And that's pretty much the two things that I don't like. And things I like, as I mentioned, the grip. And the trigger actually feels pretty good. It's a very short travel. And the magazine. The magazine release is only on one side. And it's not a lot. It's ambidextrous, so you can either this on this side or this side and the actual shooting it's very snappy because the short travel of the the trigger makes it you can pull it really fast but as mentioned you have to watch out for the uh, safety here And let's talk a little bit about the real firearm as the guiding wall and spring are down here instead of uh, up here. So what they do is they try to bring the whole slide lower so you get your center, you, I mean your CG lower. So in theory, you can stabilize the gun better as you know, you, you have to all the way more upward and you're traveling, recycling the slide and you'll be, 
you have more walking motion. So by bringing the slide movement downward, they, in theory, you can like quickly return and acquire your site better. Although this site sucks, but anyway. And let's take a look inside. So you slide lock, and you pop this pin here. Make a half turn. And then you can take out your slide. And you want to upgrade your barrel, you simply just take this out and just slide this off. And I'm not sure how long this barrel is, but it might be similar to the 1911, maybe like one, 105 millimeters, or I will double check on that. So, it's, so there's your hop up here also. There's a hop up wheel. So you put the inner barrel back to the outer barrel, put it back here. Now when you are assembling, make sure the guiding wall is lined up with the hole. So back here, lock the gun, turn the turn back the half circle, and you're done. And as for accessories again, you get your hole, there's a hole here for your lanyard. And if you're a person with a light, here's what, what gets, it gets pretty weird. Um, usually the surefire sits right behind, I mean right in front of the trigger guard, but in here, since it's lower, you can't really push it out with your thumb. If you're trying to push it out with your thumb, you have to bring your whole left hand lower and it is not a comfortable position to push it from as you're not gripping anything in here. Yep. There's a mag extension where you can lay your left hand here. It might be better, but it, it, it will throw off your whole grip. And you're gripping, if you're gripping the pistol properly, and you'll be hitting it with your index finger, which is not very comfortable for me, but that is if you're using a light. So, so that's another issue. If you're designing to use a light, it's not as comfortable as some of the other guns. Oh, and I'm not going. I might not take this to the range for this review, as I mean, the you can always upgrade the barrel for better accuracy. Um, this mainly for the gun itself and how I how it feels in my hand. So this is the review for the Hasset H9. Please leave a comment if you like or don't like. And if you do want me to show more next time on another, like what which part you want me to show more in gun reviews, please let me know. And I will see you guys next time.